Normally I'd play a few bars of some music here, but the goddamn robots at YouTube will detect anything and accuse you of trying to steal somebody's material when all you're doing is making a little piece of religious art and educational material for people to think about and know what actually happened. Anyway, Republicans are crooks and have always been crooks and here's one who made it all the way to Vice President of the United States and here's why they don't want to pay for your the college. The goes to college to proclaim rather than to learn. The lessons of the past are ignored and obliterated in a contemporary antagonism known as the generation gap. A spirit of national masochism prevails, encouraged by an effete core of impudent snobs who characterize themselves as intellectuals. A law-abiding American who believes in his country needs a strong voice to articulate his dissatisfaction with those who seek to destroy our heritage of liberty and our system of justice. To penetrate the cacophony of seditious drivel emanating from the best publicized clowns in our society and their fans in the fourth estate. I'm especially happy that uh, Vice President Agnew was here today because, and that you recognized him. <laughs> what politics are just amazes me, some of the snide things they said. The other side, when he was being elected, I remember they said that uh, one time, one of the fellows said that the Agnew Library burned down and destroyed both his books. <laughs> one he hadn't even colored yet.